Here's a quick tutorial on how to integrate Ops Genie with your AV system or pretty much any device on the network with Catch Connect. So I'll just go to Catch Connect here, connect.catchtechnologies.com and log into my account. And we'll go here under integrations and select Ops Genie. And here you'll need to add the name of your team. And it needs to be exactly as uh, you set it up in Ops Genie. It needs to be the exact same name. So you would enter the name here, click Add Ops Genie Team, and then it'll show up here. So I'll just do a little test in here to show you what it would look like. And that's what it would look like. So I've got my development team set up here, and I'll select that. And the next step is to get the API key for that team. So we'll go over here and click on this button and that'll take us over to Ops Genie where we could grab our API key. So we'll navigate here to Teams and here's my development team that I already set up and we'll click on that. And then we'll go to Integrations, click on that and we'll say Add Integration and select the API. And here is the key that we need. So we'll click on this handy copy button there and we'll say save integration. And then we'll go back over here and we'll paste our API key and click save. All right, so the next step is to add an alert. So what we're gonna do here is create some pre-configured alerts and then we'll either use this button here to test them and actually create an Ops Genie alert, or we'll use automations to send them. So let's click here and add a new alert. We'll give it a name, call it my alert. And we'll use this arrow here to kind of open it up. And here are all the fields that are available to our alert. So we could give it an alias. And as you could see, there's little pop-ups that give us some information about what's acceptable for the inputs. So you could give it a description and you could give it different kinds of actions. Now these are Ops Genie actions names. So if I had an action call to restart, then I would type that in here and click the plus button and we could add a few more of those. Some tags we could give it. You could give it an entity field, source field. So this should probably be, be catch connects or AV system room one, whatever it is. Here's the priority. Um, don't be surprised if you set P1 to priority one, if your phone starts ringing and somebody comes to your house and rings the doorbell. Just kidding, but it's actually pretty cool the way Ops Genie integrates with everything and, and has different levels to notify the proper people, the correct people. And you could add a user and a note. So you could fill out all these fields, whatever you need. And then we'll click save there. And here we could test this pre cans alert, this pre-configured alert message. If we click this button here, that will actually create an alert called new message in Ops Genie. So we'll go over here, have a look at that. Look at our alerts. And there's our new message that I just sent over. And in the next video, we'll show you how to automate creating these alerts.